home Change your name Live alone Eat your cake Please, please Bend the line, cry, baby, cry Oh, the water's rising Still no surprise What time do you call this? Morning to you too. Where have you been? Hi. Don't, don't get lippy with me. I'm not trying to be funny. Your mother was expecting you home for dinner. Sorry, I meant to call. But... but you thought that you wouldn't because you know that we try and persuade you to come home and you didn't want to spoil the good time that you were having. Exactly. I was having a good time with mates for the first time in weeks. Knowing the worry it would cause. I can't help it if you and Mum do that. What am I supposed to do, never go out? Why you? don't you start to use the brains you keep telling us that you've got? You're just going to have to trust me. You can't electronically tag me or anything. Hey, well, there are lots of things that I would like to do that I can't. You couldn't protect me from someone like Harrison in your own police station. Being overprotective now doesn't make up for it. My house, my rules. OK? Right, I'm going to get some shut-eye scenes that I didn't get any last night. So much for a day off. I'll square things with my... No problems. CID? Yeah, OK, boss. How many? Sir, you shouldn't be up here without protective clothing. I'm over Dr. Clay. Well, you found him. Well, Sergeant Holland and ask you if you could. I'm going to ask the police surgeon to take a look at your hand. Here? Will we be going to the station soon? Yeah, but I need to establish what happened to those four bodies upstairs. <coughs> Outside, son. Who was that? That's just one of my officers. Is he being sick? I'd like to know what happened upstairs, please. Today is All Saints Day. I'm sorry? Divine retribution is what took place. Oh, divine retribution. So four people were murdered because of God. If it was God's work, can you really call it murder? Did you watch the trial yesterday? Heston's moment of triumph. Nah, sorting out house stuff. There was so much to organise with the move. I can't believe it's actually happening. What have you found somewhere? That's brilliant. Yeah. Hiya. Good morning. Oh, here she is, fresh from her triumphant performance in the courtroom. You saw it? Watched online. Did you like it? A woman taking her rightful place at the top of the totem pole. What is not to like? I thought you were great. Thanks. But it wasn't all down to me, though. Heston's still in his den. Uh, no. Nurse's room. We're doing minor surgery. It's later on, but he should be free now. Well, let's see how the defence performs today. Yeah. You think she's fit to be interviewed? Uh, she's lucid, reasoning. They wait for the full psych evaluation, mm -hmm. though. Four bodies in there. That's a big case. I mean, she seems to be confessing, but... She's hiding something? Or covering for somebody. I just don't think she could have done it all by herself. And with the blindness. Could she be faking that? It doesn't add up. Here's a new face. Jeff Donovan, just out of training. Good lad. Bit of a baptism of fire. You're going to die out there. What? In the line of duty. Just another statistic of escalating knife crime.
Yes. Heston Carter, I order you to be detained at Her Majesty's pleasure, preferably tonight, at a restaurant of my choice, from whence you shall be taken. <laughs> you should see your face. <laughs> so, if you can get back there and start talking to the neighbours for me. Okay, boss. Thank you, Solomon. I just wanted to apologise for what happened earlier. What for? Losing your breakfast all over my forensics? Sorry. Don't worry, son, you're only human. And listen, not many crime scenes are as bad as that. She spoke to me in the car, you know. Oh, yeah, full confession. Name and accomplice. She told me I was going to die. What? Say that again. She predicted me death. Listen to me, Jeff. As we speak right now, Mr. and Mrs. Borley and their kids, Michael and Samantha, have been put into body bags, ready for the milk. No, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Be focused. Our main concern at the moment is to sort this out. So I want you back at the scene, doing door to door, okay? That's it. All right, son. Karen, Karen, get him to read and sign the consent form. I'll be through in a few minutes. Right, bye. Busy day. Yes. That should give you an appetite. Looking forward to our celebration. I can't believe Jack Hollins is spending the entire evening with us. <laughs> no one else. Oh, they're not coming? No. No one's joining us? It's not an end of show party. Are you asking me out? Mm. On a date. You seem surprised, Heston. Why's that? Always the hunter. Never the hunted. What? Oh, come on. Fine, upstanding man like you doesn't attract a lady's eye. I don't really wouldn't know about that. So am I the first? Oh, goody. Then I can make up the rules. I tell you what, I'll let you choose the wine. Um, my life is, is very busy at the moment. I have a full calendar and... I've never been very lucky with... The fairer sex. Or even horses. Not even a little flutter on a safe bet? I'm wary of making us both unhappy. I can't say I'm not disappointed. Still, nothing ventured, eh? <laughs> Peter. I feel sore. Should heal okay? I know. I have miraculous powers of recovery. Will I be interviewed next? Why would it be a full medical interview? A psychological one? Oh no, that won't do. I need to speak to the detective. He needs to understand there's a larger plan at work here. God's plan. Terry, can you keep your hands still for me? A dangerous disease requires a desperate remedy. You, of all people, must appreciate that. Well, I also appreciate that sometimes God moves in mysterious ways. Not to me, he doesn't. It's my job to understand his plan. I'm his angel, his emissary. Go to the word. It's caught on a hand, Doctor. Is it a defence wound? Uh, tell Sergeant Hollins. It's not him asking. Well, then he well, I just thought... No, look, if you've got any other theories, go to the investigating officer with him, not talk to me behind his back. This isn't really minor surgery. All right, Mr Flynn is a late addition to the list. He came in with an infected nipple, sorry about that, and he's managed to rip the skin with a watch strap. Nice. Hence the repair job. So how do things go with Marina? Right, we'll give the anaesthetic a few moments. Are you comfortable? We're going to need sutures. She's lively, isn't she? The infection is going to make this complicated, but that's one of the inherent risks of wanting to look like a door knocker display at the Ironmongers. <coughs> what? Marina, she came to see you. I turned down her invitation. Are you serious? Are you seeing someone else? Will you swab this, please? Let's get started. Interview with Catherine Down on her request. 
Permission given by DCI Driver. Present are temporary DS Hollins, WPC Fraser, Detective Arnold and Ms Downs, social worker. And for the benefit of the tape, would you confirm that you do not wish to have a solicitor present? I don't require one. I answer to a higher authority. And that's because you're an angel. I see what you're feeling. And yes, before we get tangled up in semantics, I do see it. If you're an angel, why didn't you just fly away? That would be a cheap, vulgar display of power and quite beneath me. Or is it because you can't see and you needed help? Did you have any help? That's not what I want to talk about. Never mind whether I could or could not have done it alone. Or my mental capacity to do it. So you did kill four people unaided in cold blood? I, Catherine Down, being of sound mind. Oh no, that's a will, isn't it? And if you did do it, why would an angel do something so violent? I agree, it's a thankless task. One which requires strength of character and courage. That's not a motive. For evil to triumph, good merely has to do nothing. So the Borleys died because there was no good to protect them, is that what you're saying? It happened because attention must be drawn to the fact that the devil is real. He exists. They died so that others may be saved. Ah, oh, so the devil made you do it, not God. Mankind has become complacent. The devil's at his most powerful when you don't believe in him. He can go about his work unhindered and then... Now, Mr Finn, before I take my gloves off, are there any other areas that need my attention? Any extra nuts and bolts? Dr Carter is referring to underpant jewellery. Anything apart from the obvious. No. No, I think we'll take Mr. Flynn at his word. Now, please make an appointment to come back in ten days to have the stitches removed. And please, please, please take the full course of antibiotics. Jolly good. Why on earth? Body piercings? Something to hang your car keys on, and people say it makes sex more fun. Of course, it does take two people for that to work. Oh, I'm well up on the math. Thank you very much, though. Really? You sure about that? Are you referring to Marina? Why do you say no? Don't you fancy her? Yes, our next patient is... Doesn't what happened on Strawberry Hill convince you that there is true evil abroad in the world? Yes. It does. But what I want to know is, are you the sole cause of it? Suicide bombers, genocide, drugs, sex slavery, child abuse. You must have dealt with some of these. Yes, but were the Borleys involved with any of that? Nothing seems to have made mankind sit up and take notice. So the message has to be a touch more specific from now on. If people are to find their way back to God. But I can only deal with evidence, things that have actually happened. Not hearsay. No ultimate battle, angels on one side, devils on the other. Which only underlines what I'm saying, don't you see? Such a refusal to believe is what allows such terrible things to keep happening. But how does adding one more atrocity to the list help? It will allow me to make a global proclamation. The trial of an angel will be internationally reported. The whole world will hear. Why this family? Why did they have to die in such a horrible way? Justice is blind. Interview suspended. 11.15. Next up, Ken, any news? Nothing. Can you believe it? Our prime suspect wants a day in court so she can pass on the word of God. I say, can I speak to you about something I found? Shouldn't you really be back at the scene, talking to the neighbours? Well, I was trying to find the connection between the suspect and the victims. But that is really CID's responsibility. Well, I know, but on a criminal record right, check. Right, so and... what you thought is you would ignore me because you knew better. Well, if you'll just look... If you're trying to prove yourself, you've done very well. Because you've proved that you can't take an order. With all due respect, sir, you're not the one she told was going to die. So you thought you'd go out in a blaze of glory. Listen to me, Jack. You will be no use to me on this investigation if you allow the suspect to get under your skin, OK? It's Jeff. What? You just call me Jack. 
Just do as you tell, Donovan. All right. See. So, that is the master bedroom with ensuite. Please oh, note. That's perfect. Well, you need now is the conservatory, and you'll be well away. Well, it's not really our priority. Ooh, is this the one? <laughs> yeah. I can't believe how lucky we've been. It's everything that we hoped for. Oh, Cherry, it's lovely. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hope Patrick gets this lucky with his search. Is that definite now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had a phone call last night. All systems go. I'll email you the agent's details. I'll really get things sped up for you. Right, thanks. Asked me to take over from you. Tea break. Cheers. PC Donovan. Now, how do you know my name? And no, before you say it, I don't believe it's because you're an angel, like you told my boss and the doc. That's a very distinctive aftershave you're wearing. Did your mother buy it for you? A girlfriend, perhaps. How's it going with the Holy Terror? Honestly. It's unnerving. She's coming out with all this angels and devils nonsense with such... Conviction? Hmm. I can't get her to cut the act. Well, if she really believes what she's saying, it's going to be difficult to break through that. It's like testing her faith. Look, I know who you really are, OK? And who you were to your victims. I also know what your motive was. So now I'm going to predict your future. Do go on. This whole angel act, it won't get you the day in court. Really? See, you'll either be declared mentally unfit for trial or the reasons for choosing your victim... It's not a matter of my choice. How soon can we get a full psyche evaluation? Cos I don't think I'm going to get anywhere with her. Ah, uh, they're on their way. Still nothing to back up your theory of an accomplice. No, but I think that all this hoodoo voodoo is covering something. You're not convinced she could be working alone? It's a bit of a stretch, don't you think? Well, if the victims were incapacitated, the tox report might show something. We have a strong motive, and it's not divine intervention. I think I may have just changed your predictions for you. Perhaps. Though, there is another way to do that. What about the accuracy of the stab wounds? She could have felt around for the heartbeat. tried to touch me. I was defending myself. Can we need an ambulance? Get her out of there. Put her in herself. If that pervert says otherwise, I'll plead not guilty. It must go to trial. I will have my day in court. What a wicked world. Yes? Peace offering? my secret stash. You're forgiven. When you're not in a relationship, you forget how messed up they can get. A minefield. Yeah. Been there, done that. Doing it now, in fact. At least a good Cabernet Sauvignon doesn't criticise your dress sense. Mm. Give me Marla's fifth over a meal eaten in hostile silence any time. Or... Big bar of fruit and milk. You forget an anniversary? You're not romantic enough? You're too clingy, or my favourite, I never know what mood you're in. Exactly. See, now Marina, she strikes me as the opposite of that. Not too serious or complicated. Well, she's not like anyone I've ever met. If your only problem is Marina taking the lead, why don't you ask her out? Well, I rejected her. I'd, I'd look needy and desperate. You see, that's the response I get from women. strong motive and it's 
it's not divine intervention. I think I've just changed your predictions for you. Perhaps. Though, there is another way to do that. I'm sorry you have to die. Change your mind. I'll come back down. No, Jeff. It's time to go. He can't help you now. Jeff! Jeff, come back! Ah! Bad dreams? I didn't get much sleep last night. What do you make of this? We have a strong motive and it's not divine intervention. I think I've just changed your predictions for you. Have you ever taken the initiative when it comes to men? <laughs> Where did that come from? Something that someone said about always having to wait for them to make the first move. That chance. I took one look at Rob, thought, hmm, you'll do. Whacked him over the head and dragged him back to my passion pit. No, that was all right. He didn't feel emasculated. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met my husband? Oh, what's the joke? <laughs> Our friend is just asking about women making the first move. <laughs> ah. To be pursued is nice sometimes. On the other hand, life's too short. That's my take on it. Yeah, but men can be a bit useless, can't they? They need a bit of a shove. Only shoved in a way that makes them think it was their idea. Because <laughs> really, we're small and helpless. <laughs> and we're terrible. No, we're not. We're wonderful. Well, you certainly are this morning. Did some sleep last night. Oh, yes. And that was thanks to regular bedtime, hot bath, chamomile tea. Mm, that's dead impressive. See if I can't sleep. Nothing short of a few glasses of red works. Oh, I've been there and done that, but that kind of self-medicating, as tempting as it is. Yeah, but if I don't get my eight hours, I'm like a zombie for days. Donovan's just come out of the theatre. Is his eyesight going to be okay? It's too early. Oh, his career could be over before it started. Look, he shouldn't have been anywhere near that interview room. We both know that, and so does he. And you did nothing wrong. He admitted he didn't listen to you. Mm, and if I'd listened to him, then all of this wouldn't have happened. Fox report on the bullies. Right. Look, you follow procedure. Any inquiry will show that. Go home. You can't control everything that goes on here, mate. Mm, easier said. Well, otherwise, Catherine Downs calling the shots. Why haven't you wondered whether you did the right thing in the first place? Well, you think she wasn't calling from the start? Just let it go. Hmm. That's going to be the hardest part of my job today. Thanks. Jack. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, do, do you fancy a pint? How are you doing? Being better. Could have been worse without the doctor. She just hit me so fast. She was like a tank. Definitely not an angel. <sighs> Look, I know she is in relation to the ball ease, I mean. Just take it easy now. No, well, this is what I tried to tell you. You know, I did a criminal records check and the dad, David Bawley, he had a criminal record, reckless driving. He caused an accident and hit a pedestrian who lost his sight. I mean, I knew it wasn't random, but... Oh, it was totally premeditated. Talk about an eye for an eye. That's not even remotely funny. It could have been a lot worse for you. I know. I didn't listen to you. I'm sorry. Lesson learned. Well, I hope so, because I will look out for you, son. But you're stubborn and you disobeyed an order. But you've got a brain. I'll just play the hunch, did some paperwork. I mean, we can see the motive, but we just don't know how she physically did it. Mm. The initial tox report. There were massive amounts of sedative found in their bodies. So once you killed them, they probably didn't know anything about it. So no accomplice after all, then? Doesn't look like it. But she must have wheedled away in there somehow. She's seriously messed up, isn't she? I think that goes without saying. Have you got a minute? I just wanted to say thank you. For? Teaching me a big lesson. About men? No. About resorting to medication at the first given opportunity. If you'd been a regular patient, 
I'd have pushed you to take those sleeping pills. But you'd have done it properly. Low dosage. Careful monitoring. Yeah, but it might not have been the right thing to do in the first place. It's going to vary from patient to patient. Sure, but I just wanted to say thank you for making me stop and think before I prescribe. Good. I'm pleased. Drugs are not always the answer. Camel tea is non-addictive. Message received. Dad all right? He's fine, darling. He's at the hospice to give me a break, remember? First I have to experience each space before I can even think about colour, styling, energy flows. Who the hell are you? Oh, wait, wait, I, I'm... You didn't say anything. If you just told him now, I'd get it off of it. Gossip, harassment.